Hi, I'm Alex from Random Knobs, and today I'm going to show you how to use uh, an algorithm composer and uh, combine it with the MIDI Muse uh, app, which we released recently. So, first of all, to start working and set it up, uh, we need to uh, drag the AXMD device uh, onto a MIDI channel. And uh, now we need to make sure that uh, the MIDI from this channel is going to an algorithm. I have an algorithm com connected via USB port and uh, all we need basically uh, is to send uh, MIDI notes uh, from the device. So I'm going to enable track on and uh, route this channel to an algorithm. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be using channel 14, uh, MIDI channel 14, as it is a uh, auto channel in MIDI configuration uh, on an algorithm. So you have to make sure that uh, you have auto channel uh, number uh, the same uh, on an algorithm and in Ableton. So uh, let's see what's going on inside. Basically you have uh, 12 sequencers dedicated to each pattern on an algorithm and uh, uh, it has a few uh, parameter controls which uh, you can use uh, accor according to the pad or you can affect all of them at the same from the master section. But let's have a look first on uh, the pad. So I'm going to be uh, using a bass drum pad for, for this example. Uh, I'm going to switch uh, all the sequencers off and I'm going to enable just the bass drum. So uh, we have a random button which uh, uh, randomizes uh, the sequence, uh, the speed of the sequence, the number of steps and swing. Uh, if I press it now all these are going to be randomized as you can see. Uh, if I don't want to randomize speed uh, or any of these three parameters, I can switch off these toggles and uh, if I press this random button, it's going to randomize just the sequence and the speed, uh, steps and swing are not going to be changed. Uh, so basically, uh, let me put uh, this a little bit slower <laughs> and I'm pressing uh, the spacebar And I have the bass drum playing now. Well, it's playing a bit uh, wonky because we have the swing on 50% um, approximately. So I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to turn on all the all the steps. Uh, basically, you can dial in uh, the steps with the mouse if you want to. <coughs> and uh, if I'm going to change the speed, it's going to play faster. Yeah, uh, if I want more steps, uh, well, we have up to 32 steps here. Uh, it can be changed with the steps um, parameter. And swing you already saw in action. And now let's see what's going on in the master section. Uh, basically, uh, on each pad you have this receive random. Uh, and what it means is uh, do you want this pad to receive master control changes? For example, if I switch it off now uh, and I'm going to be uh, um, changing the speed in master, it's going to be changing everywhere but this pad. Uh, it also applies to step numbers and swing controls as well. So basically, uh, it is very useful if you want to, if you finished working with the, with the with the sequence of this pad, and you want to work uh, and find some ideas uh, for the other uh, pads, so you can disable uh, the com commands from master section for for particular pads. Let's uh, try to randomize some settings. Uh, so I have my kick playing, and. 
I'm gonna enable all other sequencers with this uh, uh, play button in master section. So a, bit, a bit too loud. <laughs> and I'm gonna uh, randomize them. Well, the, there is some kind of interesting sequence going on, I find. It all can be saved in this uh, field uh, with, with uh, rectangles. Uh, so if, you, if I want to save this sequence, I'm going to press uh, Shift and I'm going to click on the uh, gray rectangle. And now it is saved. Uh, I'm going to randomize it once again to have a different sequence. The crazy one. Uh, and I'm gonna save it too. And now I can switch. Between them and uh, all these settings are saved uh, within uh, a project uh, file in Ableton, basically. So you can recall it. These toggles in the master section, what they do, they basically affect all color related toggles on each pad. So if I want to disable this receive random for all the pads, instead of going one by one, I can just switch them off like this. And uh, the same applies to uh, uh, speed, uh, steps and swing. There is also a speed range control. Uh, what it does, uh, it, it tells uh, the speed for the sequencers when you randomize them. For example, if I want the speed of the sequence to be really fast, I'm going to select this range. Uh, and it's it going gonna, it gonna, to uh, give me an output of uh, like, uh, you see, 32, 32, 64 and um, very fast uh, sequences. If I want them slow, I, I'm going to select the slow range and randomize them again. And you see... The speed of all the sequencers are much slower. You can record uh, the sequence uh, inside as an algorithm sequencer, uh, but I find it handy to switch on uh, the sync um, from Ableton on. Uh, so I have uh, the sequencer on al an algorithm starts when the uh, Ableton starts to play back uh, the sequence from the device. So I'm going to turn this sync on. And now I'm going to turn Now I'm gonna press uh, record and play, so it, it kind of gives me the ability to record in real time. I'm gonna stop it. Uh, I have a very short uh, 16 step sequence uh, now on a, an algorithm. Let's try, uh, play it back. As you can hear, uh, the notes in the, inside the, an algorithm have been quantized now. Uh, so in, in order to record swing uh, from the device, uh, we need to go to control, uh, sequencer control, and switch off uh, the quantized live recording. So now I'm gonna delete uh, the pattern. Uh, I'm gonna make uh, it a little bit longer and uh, I'm gonna re record it once again turn on some random swings uh, like so let's listen to this I'm recording it once again Okay, now let's have a listen. Uh, 
as you can hear, uh, the swing is there now. So that's a little tip uh, on how to record uh, inside an algorithm. Uh, also, uh, recently we developed uh, an app which allows you to control this sequencer uh, device uh, from the mutes on an algorithm. First of all, you need to have a virtual MIDI bus enabled uh, in audio MIDI setup on uh, Macintosh and uh, we need to go to MIDI Studio and uh, see if uh, I'm gonna use IAC driver uh, bus uh, for this and uh, if you don't have it you just have to enable it here I'm gonna control start and stop of each uh, sequencer with an algorithm use I need to launch an app which you can download from Random Knobs uh, Gumroad account for free so I'm gonna select uh, Electron Sheen here and uh, the output goes to um, this virtual bus. Now, uh, to get it inside Ableton, I'm gonna select uh, this uh, virtual bus, which I'm gonna enable in preferences first. So I want uh, uh, the control change uh, messages because this app uh, sends control change messages uh, I need to enable this uh, IAC driver bus so I'm gonna enable it like so and uh, select it from uh, the, for the input and now uh, I'm gonna switch to mute and you need to sort of wake up uh, all the all the mute pads so they start working properly um, there we go uh, and uh, uh, now it's possible to map uh, these mutes to these sequencer uh, controls I'm doing it like this it's not coming. Why so? Now it's coming. <laughs> uh, I don't know already why. What was it? And now I'm gonna map uh, the sequencer controls with for 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 the mutes. Uh, so it resembles the position of the pads on uh, the machine here as well. A few more. And we're done. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna delete the sequence once again. Clear button. Now I have the control uh, of this device from my an algorithm machine, right? Well, this one is empty. We can do. And you can start composing like this. So it is really handy uh, when you when you have this uh, talking to each other. So that's about it, really, about uh, this device. Uh, it's generative and it can be uh, a great helper when you're out of ideas or you just want to experiment. Uh, hope you enjoy it.